The future you is already disappointed. Whatever endeavor you are engaging in, the future you is looking back at today. He's deciding, is this person going to succeed or is this person going to fail? I don't know. How do we make our future selves proud? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to be giving you three perspectives or three answers to that question in this very video. And first of all, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your viewership. You guys have been awesome with the support. You guys have been awesome with sharing the content, liking the content. And all I ask of you is that you leave your opinion down in the comment section as that helps the algorithm grow our channel. And uh, I always say it's not my channel, it is our channel because without you guys, uh, this channel is going absolutely nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Goals and Growth. My name is Estian. Let's go. What type of future have you imagined for yourself? Do you want to be a successful businessman or a successful businesswoman? Do you want to be a successful electrician? Do you want to be a millionaire forex trader? Well, the truth is that you need to start taking accountability for your actions. If you have a certain goal in mind, you, if you have a certain lifestyle in mind, it is time to take accountability for your actions. Are your actions reflecting that desire for that particular future? Are you really giving it your all? Are you giving it your 100% every single day? Because that is what, that's what it's going to take. Or are you disappointing yourself already? Are you slacking? Are you enjoying your favorite Netflix series? Huh? Are you scrolling around on your phone, wasting time with people you don't even like? The fact of the matter is, is that without accountability, that goal you have in mind will never be achieved. It seems that people struggle to take accountability for their actions these days. They think that everything needs to be handed to them on a silver platter and that's the end of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I always say, take the hard path. That's what she said. Because the hard path will not only teach you discipline and consistency, but it will teach you to appreciate the hard work you've put in, rather than receiving everything on a silver platter. And that is a sad reality of today. It's hard to stay motivated today because you see all of these people being handed things. You see all these people getting it easy. And you think to yourself, well, life is unfair. Why don't I get it easy? Choose the harder path. Because the harder path builds consistency, discipline, and most importantly, character. My self-improvement journey, I've realized one important thing. And that is that it's not necessarily about working harder. It's about working smarter. Yes, hard work will always bring you somewhere. Hard work will always make you reap the fruits. But the fact of the matter is, is that I've realized, especially now with, you know, uploading these videos and, and, and trying to improve my content, I need to work smarter. Rather than trying to put out as much content as possible, I stick to one video per day and make that video as best I can. This is just an example. So whatever goal you're trying to achieve, how can you make your work more efficient? How can you make your work more effective without really having to spend too much time on other things? Make the process as smooth as possible. If you have to plan longer, plan longer. If you have to make a list every time you have to do something, make the list. It's just an example. If you have to have a spreadsheet in front of you, do that. Whatever makes your life easier, whatever can make the task more efficient and hence more effective, the better for you. There's no point in putting 100% effort into something that's just a pure waste of time that people will not appreciate, that people will not relate to. So instead of working harder, try to work smarter, try to work more efficiently, do extra research, spend more time on the planning phase than on the implementation phase. Because if you spend more time on the planning phase with whatever it is that you're doing, the implementation is going to run that much smoother. So point number two for today's video, to not disappoint your future self, make sure you work smarter, not necessarily harder. I want us all to realize one important thing. Your future self is not expecting you to be perfect. Things are not going to be perfect all the time. Things are not going to run smoothly all of the time. Plans are not going to work out all of the time. And yes, you are going to face countless failures in your journey to your personal goal. But the fact is, if you do not want to disappoint your future self, there's no quitting. If you really put 100% effort into something, albeit very, very difficult at times, you cannot fail. That is the philosophy that you need to carry in your mind. I know it's easier said than done. Sometimes we run into all of these speed bumps and we feel that there's no way I'm melting back. There's no way I can overcome this. Trust me, 
you can overcome it. It took me a long time to learn this, but if I really put 100% concerted effort into something and I really, really want it and I, I refuse to quit, how can I fail? How can you fail if you put 100% effort into something every single day? Irrespective of how shitty you may feel, irrespective of what people around you are saying, if you have tunnel vision and you focus on this one thing, you cannot fail. Yes, you can experience temporary defeats here and there, but permanently fail? I don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, if you found value in this video, leave a thumbs up. Very important for the algorithm to grow our family, to grow our channel. And also leave your thoughts and opinions down below. This is a democratic channel. I would certainly hope so. So make sure you feel free to leave your opinion down below about the certain topic that I'm discussing on a particular day. Thank you so much for your viewership once again, and I'll be seeing you as per usual in the next video.